people are sick, you ask me. This was your idea. I know it was my idea, and when I wake up, I'm gonna apologize. I really need a cigarette. Oh, I can't even think about it. I have to get it out of my head. And how did you wake up early enough to get your makeup on? I couldn't sleep. Mama's pillows are awful. My things come today, finally. You want me to help you unpack? No, I'm, it's just a couple of boxes. I'm gonna put everything else in storage till I figure out what I'm doing. But my mother and me in the same house, the grit's gonna hit the fan. It's so weird sleeping in my old bed. Last night, Mama actually turned on the nightlight. <laughs> <laughs> and everything is so low. Counters, doorknobs, it's just, it's just weird. Because none of that has changed, but you have changed completely. I guess. Unlike me, who still wears the same color eyeshadow I wore in high school. Yeah, but not nearly as much. Are we gonna walk, or are we gonna just sit here? Oh, I'm all for just sitting. Come on, in a couple of years, we'll need walkers. We won't be able to do this. All right, this is really gonna be fun. It's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> We have so much to catch up on. I just feel like we have this whole big chunk of our lives that's missing. You know what worries me, though? What if it turns out we don't like each other? OK. Who do you believe, O.J. Simpson or Marsha Clark? Marsha Clark, even though she blew it. Which brings me to my next question. Monica Lewinsky or Bill Clinton? Neither one. Did you see Titanic? Oh, no. We'll like each other. Three, I feel like a kid on the first day of school. What you gonna wear? My brown suit. Professional, respectful, good choice. It hides my ass. And it hides your ass. I just want to spend this first week reading up on the cases, you know, following Graham around. Gotta get used to the system down here, the players. In D.C., that was half the battle. You know, that Graham is pretty cute. I just thought I'd mention that. I hadn't noticed. Liar. Okay, I noticed. Right now, I gotta concentrate on working with the guy. Technically, I'm his boss. Is he single? Will you stop? What happened with Kelly last night? Don't change the subject. Did you talk to her teacher? Oh, yeah, long talk. Turns out she's barely making a C in history. That's not like her, is it? Well, it's hard to say which Kelly's gonna come in the door these days. The sweet, kind, funny Kelly, or the Kellys whose head spins around on their shoulders. <laughs> Wasn't there a decade or so when you put your parents through the same kind of hell? Yes. And God is certainly paying me back. <laughs> I ain't never been in a colored house before. Where's your parents? Mama's at a meeting and Daddy's in Mississippi. I don't know where Elston is. Where's your big old black pot? What? My Uncle Jimmy says every color's got a big old black pot. You throw chicken throats and pig lips in. Make some kind of voodoo soup or something. Well, we don't have a black pot. We have a black skillet, but Mama just cooks bacon in it. Want a soda? Y'all think Joseph and Mary are colored too? My daddy says no one really knows. Does your tongue turn purple, too? <laughs> What's wrong? Get it in me! Calm down, you old sissy. Bugs ain't gonna hurt you. Get it out of here! It's gonna get you. Here you go. Now go find your bug brothers and sisters. Is it purple yet? <laughs> but, Graham, I... I know. 
Yeah. Yes. Doesn't look like we have much of a choice. I'll be there in 20 minutes. Graham got pulled into court on one of his cases, and uh, I have a continuance hearing in 45 minutes. Well, you said you wanted to die right in. This isn't what I had in mind, Mama. You sure do look beautiful. Don't you cry. Don't you cry. <laughs> I tell you, if you do, I'm going to cry too, and we are going to be a mess up in here this morning. Now, you know that your father is watching over you today. I know. And he's smiling. Because everything that he's worked so hard for is in good hands. Your hands. And he knows that you are going to take care of all of it. There's just one problem. I haven't been in a courtroom in 15 years. Well, when you're walking there today, baby, your father's gonna be right there beside you. Don't you forget that. Okay. <sighs> Renee, I thought you might want this. used to tease him. So that briefcase gets more loving than I do. You are determined to make me cry today. To you, but I got a judge who wants to go hunting. Hey, Tommy. How long a postponement do we need? A couple weeks ought to do it. Might be something you'd want to take on. Trent versus Bishop. Interesting case. Sure had the sap rise in your daddy. Let me tell you what. In a nutshell, a woman was raped, got pregnant, had the baby. Eight years later, the rapist is out of jail and is suing for shared custody of the child. This sounds like a bad joke. Our client is that woman. Her name's Donna Bishop. Floyd Buddy, how you doing? Howdy, Graham. This guy was convicted of raping her. He has no rights to that child. This shouldn't even be a matter before the court. How, how could a judge legitimize this? This, this? Grotesque and repulsive request your father's words who's the judge lucius pearl lucius pearl you know pearl is he still running for supreme court more politics than law but he did grant a restraining order on trent and your daddy thought he would never go for that uh, now i need to run you should have no problem with this renee you're gonna be fine huh? hey buddy how you doing hey <sighs> next on the calendar is trent versus bishop Counsel, state your appearances for a record. William Boudreaux for the petitioner, Your Honor. Renee Jackson for the respondent. This matter is set for trial on Thursday. Are there any pretrial matters to attend to? Yes, Your Honor. As the court may note, I am not the counsel of record. My colleague, Graham Pierce, has a conflict with another case and as such is unable to appear for trial. I would request a short continuance to accommodate his schedule. Mr. Boudreaux? Your Honor, while Petitioner appreciates counsel's scheduling conflicts, along with my condolences to Ms. Jackson, with all due respect, this matter has been pending for some time, and as the court knows, there is a temporary restraining order preventing my client from seeing or even approaching his son. Now, we believe it would be in the best interest of the minor to proceed with the trial forthwith. My condolences as well, Ms. Jackson. Your father was a distinguished champion for justice, and it is an honor to see his mighty legacy continue in my courtroom. However, I agree with the petitioner. I granted the restraining order based on your father's contention that the matter would be tried promptly. Mr. Pierce had every intention of doing so, Your Honor, but... Does your office represent Ms. Bishop? Yes, Your Honor. How many lawyers in your office? Two. Why can't you try the case? I am not familiar with the case. You have two days to get familiar with it. So unless you want me to dissolve the restraining order, I'm afraid the trial date will remain. That is all. Fourteen times I asked Kelly if she had any laundry. Look at this. We, we have a screwdriver. It's six inches away from you, but let me come over there and pick it up for you, okay? You know, one of these days I'm going to go on strike. Here. So don't say I didn't warn you. Uh, well, let me know so I don't cross the picket line. Did she tell you about the trip her Spanish class has taken? Only cost $600. What? Four days and three nights in Mexico City. 
Tequila, salsa, handsome young men. Hell, I want to go. We can't afford that. Well, Doc says in a month I'll be back at work. Maybe we can. Just set us back, Collier. A step or two. More than that. OK, three. I'd like to get that money back in the kids' college fund before we fly Kelly off to Mexico. Oh, shoot, Shug. With me back at work, money we save on beer alone will get the kids through college. <laughs> What do you think? Can you handle this? Number one, I don't think it's fair to our client. After your father's death, she spoke with other attorneys. We're the only ones who take it on pro bono. Number two, I can only find one case that's even close to being on point. Kelsey versus Blackburn, 2nd District, Division 3, California. Oh, that's Lucius Pearl. Independent as a pig on ice. You give him a precedent to set, he's happy. You can do this, Renee. That's what you come down here for, right? To fight the good fight? Your father thought you could handle it. My father thought I could be president. Do we have a law clerk? A secretary? How am I supposed to prepare for trial? I... I we have Odessa. She was here this morning, uh, but uh, she started retaining water and her feet swell up something awful. I, she, I think she left some messages on your desk. It's a wonder she even found my desk. Hey, Donna. How are you? Sorry, I'm early. No, uh, it's kind of perfect timing. I want you to meet James' daughter, your new attorney. Donna Bishop, Renee Jackson. Hi. Nice to meet you. Thanks. I met him at a fraternity party. It was my sophomore year in college. Um, his name was Carter Trent. We went for a walk. I was pretty drunk. He was wasted. We wound up at Douglas Park, made out a little bit. I wanted to stop. He didn't, so he raped me. How soon after that did you realize you were pregnant? I knew that night. I just knew. Why didn't you have an abortion? I don't believe in abortion. Look, Ben is almost eight. It hasn't been easy, but we've done OK. Until now. The thought of this bastard being a part of Ben's life and my life, it's not going to happen. The judge considers one thing, Donna, what's in the best interest of the child. I am so sick of hearing that. The best interest of the child? How the hell is it in my son's best interest to know his father is a rapist? What have you told Ben? About his father? I told him he's dead. What would you tell your child? Probably the same thing. <laughs> he's still raping me. When I got the subpoena, he raped me. When I had to swab Ben's mouth for the DNA test, he raped me. Going to court, and if they win, your father told me that, that would never happen. He told me not to worry. Now, can you promise me the same thing? Look, I'm not going to sit in a courtroom for seven years listening to expert testimony that rape is bad. Nor do I want to hear a multitude of pronouncements on the wonders of biology. So, I have a suggestion to make. Miss Jackson, will you stipulate tomorrow that if Mr. Boudreaux calls his expert witnesses based on his previously submitted depositions, that they will each testify that it is in the best interest of the child to have contact with his father? As long as they will likewise stipulate that our experts have called to the stand will say the exact opposite. I would expect nothing less. Counselor, how about it? So stipulated. All right, good. I want to meet this boy. I want to talk to him myself. Can you arrange for something sometime this afternoon? We'll meet here in chain.